Today, we're killing bugs and fighting disease on this episode of Look Ma, No Soil. Hey, what's up? I'm Boss. I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Today, we are talking about my favorite way to organically control pests and prevent and fight off some diseases. So, of course, we're talking neem oil. What is neem oil? Neem oil is an extract from the Azadiracta indica tree. Um, it is made by pressing the fruits and the seeds of that tree into an oil. What we are looking for and what you always want to be looking for for your garden is 100% cold pressed neem oil. If it doesn't say that, it's not going to work very well. Reason being is the key active ingredient in neem oil that makes it an effective pesticide is called azadiractin. So azadiractin will actually coat the leaves of your plant and any chewing insects that chew up that azadiractin while they chew on your plants will actually will die from it. It messes up their insides. They can't digest it well. It takes away their appetite. So they'll either die directly as a result of this or they will starve to death. It's pretty effective on controlling and killing hundreds of different types of insects. And it's not gonna have all of the side effects, right? So the other thing it does do is act as a horticultural oil in some ways or a suffocating oil. So soft-bodied insects like um, aphids, which will also be chewing on your plant tissue and eating that as a direct in and dying, they can also suffocate because you're gonna mix this in with water and a little bit of soap and I'll show you how this works. And that'll actually coat their whole bodies, they can't breathe and they can die that way. So you can also you know, control some other insects and pests that aren't necessarily chewing on your plant and eating that as a direct in, they're gonna go ahead and suffocate if they're soft bodied insects like aphids. Hard bodied insects, not so much. It's not really toxic to humans and pets in small doses as directed, right? It's actually not going to be harmful to a lot of our friendly insects either if you use it correctly. So butterflies, bees, beneficial insects we want to have around the garden. The neem oil is not going to mess with them. Reason being, they don't chew on your plants. They're not going to consume that as a direct in and mess up their stomachs, right? So I think the first pest this was ever used on was locusts a long time ago. And then subsequent studies have shown just how many pests it can actually control and which ones it doesn't really affect, right? Bees and butterflies, they might walk on your plants they don't chew on them. So it's a pretty good option and one that you can feel reasonably safe using. So neem oil, it should be thick and kind of, well, it comes in all different kinds of colors, everything from brown to tan to red. It has an interesting odor to it, not the most pleasant. It's kind of like a mixture of almost like peanuts and onions or garlic or something. It's an interesting aroma but we're gonna be diluting the heck out of it, so it's not a huge deal. Before I show you the recipe, a couple of quick disclaimers. One, always, always, always spray your plants when there is no sunlight or grow lights on them for several hours. You do not wanna have light hitting your freshly sprayed plants. The oil can intensify that light and act as a lens and really burn your plants. So you're always gonna to wanna to be spraying either right at sundown if you're doing this in your garden outdoors or right at lights off if you're doing this in an indoor garden. The other important tip to remember is that you need to do a test. Some plants really react well to applications of neem oil. Some, they don't like it. And you also wanna make sure that you've mixed it properly and you don't have something too strong, right? So what I would always recommend is take a couple of leaves on one plant that's already in pretty good shape, spray those first, wait about two days, probably 48 hours if you can, and see if those leaves are okay. If they are, go ahead, use the spray on your garden, it'll be fine. If those leaves don't look so good, then your spray was probably not mixed right, so you might have to dump it and start over. And in reality, it's only gonna last for about eight hours. So once you mix the spray up, you can't really store it for a long time. This is a make it and use it kind of situation. So now that I've warned you about all the things you could screw up, you're probably saying, how the hell do I use it, right? Let's get to making it because it's actually pretty safe to use and very effective on certain pests and diseases. So making the neem oil is pretty easy. All you need is your cold pressed neem oil. You'll need a spray bottle and some sort of soap. You can use nearly any kind of soap. I tend to use Castile soap. I've also used like just regular dishwashing soap plenty of times, works fine. Your soap can be one of those things that can impact your plant if you spray it during light periods especially. So um, I try to use something that's a little bit more natural without quite as much crap in it, but this one happens to be peppermint as well, so it adds another interesting smell to the mix. 
So the basic recipe that we're gonna use is pretty simple. You're gonna take one and a half teaspoons or seven and a half milliliters of your neem oil and put it into a quart or 950 milliliters of warm water. I tend to use warm because the neem oil dissolves a little bit better in warm water. Also, you can put your entire neem bottle in a warm bath in the sink to kind of soften it up ahead of time. That's why you can see my label is coming off. So you've got one and a half teaspoons of neem oil to one quart of water, and then you're gonna add a half a teaspoon or about 2.5 milliliters of soap to that same quart of water. So that's the basic recipe. If you're gonna make a bigger batch, say you're working out in your garden and you're using a gallon sprayer, you can actually use one ounce or 30 milliliters of neem oil per gallon or 3.8 liters of water. And in that case, you're gonna to wanna to add two teaspoons of soap or 10 milliliters of soap to that one gallon or 3.8 liter mix. And then you can use your big pump sprayer if you're treating a large area in the garden. All right, so let me get the lid off of my sprayer here. This sprayer is actually big enough to hold two quarts, but I don't need that much today. I've only got a few plants I need to treat. So I'm gonna get my neem oil ready to go. And I've got a one teaspoon and a one half teaspoon measuring spoon. Um, usually I actually just use the half teaspoon and put in three, but you know, videos make it look like I'm fancy. I'm not. And so into the bottle, we're gonna put, got my half teaspoon here. I'm actually just gonna go Three of these, one, two, three. As always, I'm messy, so I'm gonna have my paper towel here ready to clean up. <laughs> Neem oil won't really irritate your skin much. Some people, if you're really sensitive to it, it might bug you. Definitely don't wanna get it in your eyes. It could irritate you. Um, and don't eat it, okay? Don't, this is not a spoon. This is a dumping measuring spoon. And then we need our half teaspoon of soap. And again, that soap's gonna work as a surfactant or an emulsifier. I'm not sure the right word in this instance. So science people, let me know in the comments. Uh, but really, we're gonna try and disperse that oil throughout the water because oil and water don't mix naturally. Um, and that's an important tip. You're gonna be shaking this thing a lot, probably every 30 seconds to one minute after you have been spraying. You'll wanna reshake it to make sure that you're dispersing that neem through the container. Your pump usually feeds from the bottom, right? This is going to feed from the bottom. And so we want to make sure that there's actually neem oil mixed throughout. That's what the soap helps with. Um, but it will start to collect up at the top pretty quick. So make sure every 30 to 60 seconds you stop. Give this a good shake. I don't know if you can tell on camera here, but I can see now that it's all one color and mixed in evenly. If I let this sit for a minute, I'm going to start to see the brown solids form up on the top layer. And that means it's separating, so I need to shake it again. But that's really all there is to it. So I've now got a batch of one quart of properly mixed neem oil that'll help me fight off pests. Um, again, soft bodied things like aphids, anything that chews on your leaves, cold pressed neem oil with azadiractin is gonna be an excellent way to deal with those pests. It's not an instant kill, so don't go, well, I just sprayed it and nothing happened. It doesn't work. They're gonna eat it. They're gonna digest it. It's gonna mess them up from the inside out. And before you know it, they will be gone. The important things to remember, you need to get this on every surface of the plant that those bugs are on, especially under the leaves. A lot of people just spray it from above and then don't understand why it didn't work. Well, most of the bugs are gonna be underneath those leaves feeding away. So take the time, lift up your leaves. I like a pump sprayer like this with the adjustable nozzle because you can actually adjust it so that it's coming out almost vertically in a circular pattern. So if you put it underneath your plants and spray, it's already, it's gonna spray both the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. Pretty handy. Um, I can see already though, I'm starting to get solids building up on the top of this in just the last minute. So it needs a shake, but it is about five minutes till my lights go out. So let's show you how I'm gonna apply this. Okay, so these are the plants I wanna treat. I've got my neem oil. These are all pepper plants. I have used this exact formula on my pepper plants for years. I know it's not gonna damage the leaves as long as those lights go out, which they do in about two minutes. So I've got this well shook up. I've got my pressure up from the pump. I'm gonna set my nozzle to almost closed so I get a fine mist spray and just apply.
and that's it. Yes, I've made a mess. I'm going to grab a towel and clean up, and then we will wrap up here. All right, so that does it. My lights are out now, which maybe you can tell it's not quite as bright over here. Uh, neem is really easy to mix. It's really easy to use, but you should be careful anytime you spray anything on your plants. So typically you'll want to use this concentration that we just made once every two weeks or so as a preventative, if you're going to be using it that way, preventing things like, um, well, you know, aphids and mites from coming into your garden, especially outdoors, but also things like powdery mildew can be prevented. And you can even use a lower dilution of neem oil for that one. But if you're using this to fight an active infestation, you'll want to use this concentration. You can even crank it up a little bit more to about two teaspoons of neem per quart. I wouldn't go a whole lot higher than that. And you'll add, you'll need to add a little bit more soap, probably just a few more drops uh, to make sure that it emulsifies and spreads throughout your sprayer. That can be applied about once a week at first, if you're fighting an infestation, and then back it off as soon as you start to get it under control. Again, remember, 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 cold pressed 100% neem oil with azadiractin is the only one you want. Don't buy the pre-mixed. It costs a little bit of money, but I've had this bottle here for almost two years with regular use. It lasts a long time. Never ever apply this in direct sunlight or direct grow light. You'll always want to do this usually right at sunset or right at lights off if you're using it indoors. Extra light on top of a oil solution on your plants is a bad time. You will burn them. You will be sad. Your plant will be even sadder. And just remember to do a test spray. So make up a very small batch if you want. You can always just dilute, dilute, dilute down, right? Or cut your amounts down to make an even smaller batch than 32 ounces and do that test. You really want to make sure you're not going to hurt your plants before you go and spray this all over them. And like anything, be careful, right? Don't breathe it. Don't get it in your eyes. Don't eat it. Don't put it in your mouth. Keep it away from kids and pets, ideally, um, especially right after you spray. And you should be pretty happy with the results. Neem oil is not a cure-all. People say, oh, neem oil took care of everything for me. It won't. It'll definitely help. If you use it properly and apply it regularly, you will control almost any pest infestation. Almost. Things like aphids can be really tough, even though the azadiractin and the smothering effect will kill them with neem oil. If you don't coat every surface of that plant, and in a lot of cases, you have to coat those bugs to get that suffocation effect, they're going to keep reproducing. Those are tough suckers to get rid of, but you can really control their populations this way. Things like mildew and fungal diseases, uh, mites, all of that, I've had really good success using neem oil. For powdery mildew and other fungal things, I usually use it at about half strength. So that's what I use, especially on my hydroponic plants indoors. I don't have as many pest issues because there's no soil, but anything that chews on leaves, if it gets in that tent with my plants, they will go to town, right? I've got a bunch of healthy, green, leafy plants in there. Bugs love that. And so I use this in that tent about once a month at this point, just as kind of a preventative because I haven't seen pests in there, but I don't want to. So it's a great tool to have for any gardener, hydroponic or otherwise. It's a little bit safer and less worrisome than your traditional pesticides, and it's really easy to use. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments about how you use neem oil or how you could use neem oil. I'd be happy to try and answer anything that you want to know. I will see you on the next episode of Look Ma, No Soil. Soil.